the MK trailer has finally dropped for gameplay, and I can safely say it is glorious. I'm liking everything I am seeing right now. So, this video, I'm going to break down everything we saw with the recent gameplay trailer and a little bit of what we saw during the interview. Because the interview revealed a few important things that I'm very happy to see have changed. So, let's start by going into the gameplay. Hoping, I'm guessing this is also going to be part of Kung Lao's new moveset, is that he uses this display. I think that's what this is called. It's a display. When I looked it up, the name of it, because Kung Jin had something like that in Mortal Kombat X with, for his Shaolin variation where he would throw that and then if you enhanced it it would come back to him it was called a cheeker but i'm just going to call it a disc blade because i think that's what he'll probably be using instead of his hat he's doing a lot of more martial art based moves and look i love the windmill punch i love the windmill punch look at that look at that windmill punch look at that yo and, but that's Sub-Zero here, so this was sick when I started to uh, break this down um, last night. So, it's the head and spine that Sub-Zero is using for an attack. That's so sick. I'm liking how that's looking. It looks a lot better than him just using axes. It, it's much better and a lot more creative. Kenshi was sick as a reveal. I, I was not ready to see this man with vision. Bro got his vision back. Yep, I'm liking the pop-up. And the actions with Sento. The the cameos are looking sick for these attacks that they're It's hard to say if they will be like um a part of the moveset, like for fatal blows, or will it be like a separate thing. I don't know. But yeah, but let's see Johnny. Look at how the camera changes for that one throw. Yeah, look. Look at how that look at this camera! Look at this camera! No camera cuts at all. It completely focuses on it so well. You gotta love it. More Now, when we get to sc more Scorpions gameplay, there was something I was really liking and probably gonna be a big highlight for the game is the addition of more aerial combat. Because look at this. He, he just popped him up in the air, got three or more hits in, and continued the uh, air attack, which I'm really liking. Because with 11... There was only one what one or two characters that had aerial mobility, which were Sindel, which was a nightmare to fight, who can just pretty much cancel out of a, so many attacks and do aerial combat. With this now in one, with being accessible to more characters, it's going to be a lot of fun, gameplay-wise and for creativity. So I was really shocked to see this younger version of Ring, and like even look at him as well. He even has hair. Bro finally has hair, aside from the live action. Yep, and we see Sonya's leg grab, which was also sick. But yeah, he's looked, Raiden looks a lot more solid this time around. Now right here, I honestly thought this was going to be the Clash system, where they were bringing that back from Injustice 2, because the Clash system was pretty much, you would wage your meter, and depending on how that would go, you would either regain meter, or you would lose, um defense depending on how it would go you would either lose health depending on how it goes but let me just pause it right here so here okay here we go this is act so this is the character select screen and as you can see we can see goro on the right side so yes goro is a cameo along with sonya blade well i'll show off the character select screen in a little bit but yeah so after you pick your cameos this is how they start out which is sick And it transitions to gameplay. The aerial combat just fits Katana so well. I, I, I'm, she's probably gonna have the best mobility. Okay, right, now over here, this is where they were starting to talk about the gameplay right when Ed Boo came up on stage. So this is how it's looking for the character select, and it's looking great right now. So let me pause it real quick. So right here, you can see it. It definitely has a lot. Uh, it's carrying over that how it looked the roster look from Injustice 2 but it had it looks like it's going to have at launch 24 characters and as we already saw that we already see Scorpion, Liu Kang, Kenshi, Katana, Sub-Zero, and Raiden so how many is that now uh 
Right, now I lost track of the number. Oh my gosh, I have to count that out. But we'll probably see more later on as time goes on. But yeah, so if we look at it carefully, how the characters are being selected. Because hold on. Just wait right here. I'm trying to find the perfect time. Okay, right here. Right here. Yes, right here. So if you saw the transition from char from picking characters to immediately cameo so thankfully variations are gone they are done variations are gone no they're not here anymore they're out of it they don't exist we're finally free now we move on to the cameo characters so currently we see kano sonia Jax, and i'm guessing more likely goro will we'll see osunsi up there but I'm also curious how, how many other characters, why have, they didn't show the other characters they already showed from the trailer. Because we already know that all the characters who are playable are also going to be cameos, I guess. So that is a bit weird how they didn't show them. But I'm guessing they did want to at least give highlights to the characters who are going to be cameos. So they should at least differ between who is who on cameos so that we, we at least know and we'll be prepared for uh who's going to be seen as a cameo just so i can show this off okay so at the bottom right here you'll see like three meter bars so it looked like we were going back to having three meters but we are having them at like the start but i did also see that we will have fatal blow so if you could see right there when i i'm trying let me see if i could zoom in let me see if I try to zoom in or make this bigger on my screen, you could see it says Fatal Blow in a way. So Fatal Blow is definitely still sticking around. That is going to be sticking around for another game. Yep, there we go. So you're going, so from how it's being shown, the get up or breaker is going to be utilized through your assist, which I guess is fine. But I feel like it's been be it was better when it's like you doing it. But I I, f I think it's fine if with um your character assisting you just so they can have your character helping in a way. I'm glad that is back. That is back, and we are free from breakaway. We are free from that mechanic. Yeah, I will say for how they're starting off, just showing it, I'm liking a lot of it. The aerial combat was a good addition. Breakers back no variations and i'm guess i've definitely from how it seems interactables are gone thank goodness so those four things i'm already sold on they they definitely have me sold on gameplay i'll have to see more of it though because i'm curious on how kung lao is going to be because i because of how the timeline is now i no longer have buzzsaw that is a big hell for his gameplay I have to think now with him. I have to think. <laughs> but definitely the roster the roster will probably get more glimpses of. I'm curious on how the roster will be. They cuz they did while they did show story bits, they didn't really show any villain type characters. The only villain I'd say they were they showed pretty much was melina but that was like a very small role and it sounds like she's the empress now of adenia which is crazy i'm i'm curious on how that was handled but yeah i want to see more villain characters and i feel like we'll see more 3d era characters from how ed boon has been talking about it but i'm looking forward to seeing more gameplay though it it did sound like we are getting more gameplay as well because there are a lot of people who were invited, sadly not me, to LA to try out the game. So we'll, we'll get more of that and we'll get some more news next month. So let me know what y'all want to see next for MK1 related and let me know what you also want to see me try to talk about for MK1. So thank y'all for watching and be sure to subscribe and I shall see y'all in the next one.